January 7th and I've got a unboxing video that I'm going to need to break down into a couple of different videos because the sun is going down and I really wanted to film this video in um, natural daylight and I'm losing it. Um, it's the end of the work day but I'm, I've been looking at this package sitting on my dining room table and I just want to open it. It is much anticipated. Um, so without further ado, I've got two unboxings that I'm going to do on this video, and I've got another one that I'll follow up shortly, hopefully in the next day or two. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the positive vibes, good wishes. Happy New Year. Um, we're off to kind of a crazy start right now in the United States, but hopefully things will smooth out and get um, a lot better. Okay, without further ado, let me just start with the small item. Um, this arrived, let's see here. I have not cracked open all of these and I normally, if you guys know me, I hate opening up and having all the rattling paper, but I have this that arrived from Amazon. I bought this so that I can do quick changes of ink and see what they are. Um, let me just zoom in a little bit. Um, it's a converter. So let's pull that out. I love the color of this pen. That is the nib. So, what kind of nib is this? I don't exactly know what the size of it is. Oh, yes, I remember now. And this is, oops, underneath. Packaging is um, nothing to write home about. It's inexpensive like the pen. Um, that's the box that it came in. I, this is the first time I've ever ordered one of these pens. What made it appealing to me is the fact that I can, like I said, quickly check out inks. This is a Moomon glass nib pen, I mean fountain pen, I'm sorry, glass nib fountain pen um, with a fine point nib. Um, really looking forward to using this with inks. Let's see if it posts. Oh, it does. Fantastic. Inexpensive. I think um, I got this on Amazon. I will put the link below um, in my comments where I got it. Um, at on Amazon site. And again, I do have an affiliate link, but other than that, I'm not sponsored in this video, so all the opinions are mine. Um, I just love the color of it. I like how small it is. I like how portable it is. Um, so this will be great for like, if I wanted to take some of those shimmering inks that I got that I was talking about in October from last year, if I wanted to just kind of test those out or any other ink actually. Um, it's lightweight, it's plastic. Um, like I said, the nib is a fine point nib. It feels really good in hand. Let me zoom back out. Um, and it looks like, I mean, I don't want to break, I don't want this to roll off, so let me just put that there. It looks like you also have a regular, looks like it's a, a finish to maybe medium nib, but it looks like it's, this nib is looking pretty small. Um, it looks like it's another fine point nib with a converter. So way to go. Or it looks like it, I don't know if this can, oh, yep. Um, low ink capacity, it looks like. It doesn't look like it's going to have like the world's largest ink capacity into this converter. Is it a plunger? It is. It's a plunger. Sorry, I'm trying to like look at it. <laughs> I apologize. I usually am a little bit more cognizant of where I am in the frame of the camera. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's a plunger. So that'll be kind of quick fill. So I can write in either method. So I can either use the regular nib with a converter or I can dip it like a fountain pen. And that was what was really appealing to me when I 
bought this. I think this this fountain pen was under ten dollars, so not expensive, which is perfect and great for travel. And I really felt like I could um, just kind of throw this around. I mean, for under ten dollars. Not that I'm trying to, you know, spend money frivolously, but if something were to happen, I could easily replace it too. So there's that first item. So I'll put that to the side and I'll try to do a quick writing example. I've got some Noodler's 54 um, ink here on this side. So I'll do a little test of that in just a second. And the piece of resistance, if I can, I thought I did. Okay. Um, I got another package. And I ordered this in December, so it's finally here. Um, if you were watching my channel in October, I was fortunate enough to get gifted from a very generous individual. See, you know who you are. Um, who bought me a whole bunch of shimmering inks and gave me a gift card to Goulet. So um, with that gift card, I went back in at the end of December and I bought a few things. Let's take all this stuff out. Ah, sucker. Voice and a nice little fountain pen sticker. Yay! Thank you, Goulet, for that. I love that. I like their stickers. All right, so let's just zoom in a little bit and I'll bring this down so that you can see this a little bit better. Um, okay, so I did order. Oh, maybe we'll use the glass fountain pen with these. I did order some samples of some inks that I wanted to try and, sorry, dropping stuff all over the place. Um, some of them are duplicates or more than one of the same kind. So I've got here um, Diamine Pink Glitz. For some reason, I'm in the mood for pink ink and I know that it can be kind of tricky. So I try to pick um, inks that I thought would show up on paper because sometimes they fade. And um, and also Diamine Apple Blossom. I think this is a run of Diamine inks almost predominantly. Um, Polar Glow, which was another ink that I received that I actually liked. And I have Sailor um, Mamo Haha, Mamo, or let me see here, Manyo Haha. I thought that was a really cool um, ink color. And the last three, I think some of them are going to be dupes. Oh, this is Sailor Studio um, Ink Studio 123. I love Sailor Ink Studio inks. They look really, really pretty. Um, again, another Diamantes um, Apple Blossom and one extra plink glitz. So I'm not going to probably on this video because of the light um, sample all these inks. I will push them to the side and I will sample them later and probably the next video with the remaining part of my unboxing. So stay tuned for that. Um, I just wanted to let you guys see that that's coming up. Um, I've got a whole little corner of my desk over here on my table that's going to be part two of the unboxings. Um, this one was on my wish list and I waited until the end of last year using the gift certificate that I got to buy this one. I saw it and I've been wanting it ever since it came came out. Um, and that is the Twisby uh, 580LR ALR fountain pen. Now I, as you know, or maybe not, I have a couple of other Twisbees and they're on the smaller side and I was trying to get this one because I wanted something that was a little bit um, larger than the ones that I have because I've got a um, Mini Vac 700 
and I've got a Twisby Echo. And so this is just rounding out my love for Twisby. I absolutely love their pens. And do I have tape on this? Oh, I do. Hold on a second. Or get care. Any other buddies care. All right. Sorry about that, but that required a little bit more precision than I thought I had to need. Um, so yeah, this is, oh my God, this pen is gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so typical Twisby, um, presentation. Um, I did not see in this container, maybe it's on the back side. I know that there's supposed to be, and I'll open up the back side in just a second, but I know I'm supposed to get like a, um, it's not there, so it must be in the back of here. Underneath here, there should be a wrench. At least that's what I thought. Maybe not. Um, okay, let me just see this. Does this come out? Nope. Okay. I thought that this would have a wrench, and I guess it does not. And I will review other people's videos, but nonetheless, I bought this one. Um, I'm a pretty much oriented fine, fine point person, fine nib point person. Um, this one is a medium. I'm sorry. I'm going to zoom in this way. I am a medium nib person. I mean, a fine nib person. So, um, I'm having a hard time talking today for some reason. I think I'm just kind of burnt out from all my business meetings. Um, so yeah, this is a medium uh, nib. And so let me go ahead and at least dip it in some ink. Um, I've got some Rhodia paper here, just so that you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Really excited. I don't know what color I want to fill it up with. I've got, oh, wait a second. I've got, I'm not gonna do Massachusetts 54. I've got a small sample of Mont Verde Rose Noir that I'm going to go ahead, it looks like this, I can't wait. I'm gonna go ahead and plunge this in there and give it a go, give it a go. Okay, so um, the pen does cap. Um, it is a little bit on the long side, probably, yeah. I'm not used to, get that out of the way before I knock it over. I'm not used to really long pens, so I'm going to, for a change, I love to post my um, fountain pens, not post this one. It is a piston fill pen. So I should definitely have a wrench probably in that packaging somewhere and I'll rip it apart after I'm done with this part. But let's just go ahead and plunge this in to this. that so you can see that go down get that going get out any air bubbles I might not have enough ink on this wow this is a very large capacity it's not grabbing it And I have a feeling, <laughs> like I was thinking, I might not have, this could be a nightmare. Oh, there we go. I had to get it inside where the hole is for the feed. So I have been able to suck up just a little bit. And unfortunately, I will say this, I like Goulet, but they're stingy on their ink samples especially for a twist because it's a large capacity fill. Okay, let me just wipe the nib off. Oh, that's really pretty. But you can see my ink, my pen is starving for ink already. Um, okay, so, but it starts up right away. Twisby, 
diamond. And let's swing this in so you can see this a little bit better. Sorry. Twisby diamond 580 ALR rose gold. Oh, this pen writes beautifully. Neb um, medium. Keeps up, not having a problem having it keep up. Oh, and somewhat dry, um, at least with this ink. So there is that. Um, this is a different thing that I was playing around with on another ink sample, but this is, this is a really nice color. I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's do the quick brown fox. Jumps over the lazy dog. Not a lot of feedback on that either. Wow, incredibly smooth. Okay, I'm impressed. Um, so there you have it. Um, I will, like I said, on video number two, I'll probably get rid of or try to figure out how I can get the rest of my sample of my Mount Verde Rose Noir into this pen. Um, I'll play with that a little bit more into the feed or just order some other ink that's I've got a little larger capacity on, but it's absolutely gorgeous writer. Um, I think that for once in my life, I'm not going to be posting this. I'm so used to posting all my pens, but it's incredibly too long, actually. Um, I am really always impressed with Twisby's ink capacity. It's always something that I'm going to actually really, really love. Um, Again, I bought this at Goulet Pens. This was not sponsored. I All these opinions are my own, but this initial um, write of it and how it, oh my God, the way it handles is just amazing. Um, yeah, I would recommend this pen. And now I've had a medium Twisby, which is still a pretty good finer line. Let's see how it does in reverse, actually. Let me just zoom back in. Let's see how reverse writing. Okay, if you want a finer line, you can do some reverse writing on it. It's an extra fine line, like a fine, um, extra fine to fine line on that. That's good variation. It's going to give you, of course, more feedback, but it's not horrible at all. I mean, that's, that's good. That's really good. So if you're interested in getting more um, comments from me about the pen after I play with it a little bit more. Again, it's ink starved because I used one of Goulet's really small samples. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, let me know. But thank you for stopping by for this really quick unboxing. Um, stay tuned, there's more stuff coming up. I appreciate your time and your um, positivity and stay healthy and stay safe. Until next time, take care, bye.